Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. We're back again. Thought I would show you uh, some of our drying morel mushrooms we got going on here. We, uh, I think that this is probably our favorite way to, to do them. Yours, Miss Kitty? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then we've got, cause we got screens, we've got those dehydrators. I showed that little portable dehydrator. Um, that one's just amazing too when you're up in the hills, camped out or whatever. But um, probably our favorite is definitely stringing them. Um, so we got them out here in the, some of them we had, we just brought them out. We should have brought them out yesterday because we actually had them in the cabin drying. Um, we got that, what do we got here? Probably over 300 mushrooms. Yeah, yeah over 300 yeah. on here. Well, we, when no, because like, no, we, we ate some. Oh yeah, we've been eating the heck out of them actually. <laughs> we love them. And the, man, Miss Kitty did a uh, SOS um, last night with morel mushrooms. Oh man, it was amazing. We've had spaghetti, we've had <laughs> everything. She's gonna do a cooking video. I don't know if she'll do it tonight, but she was gonna do one the other night. I don't know what happened. She got crazy, I guess, and changed her mind. She's giving me the evil eyes behind the camera. <laughs> anyway, so um, anything we need to. So, well, we had um, someone ask, what do you do with all those mushrooms? Yeah, actually, it was Mike was yeah. asking, Mikey. Um, and, man, we like I said, we eat the heck out of them. And what we do, you know, first, we used to sell, pick them and sell. Back then, we didn't really eat them because, they're, man, we were getting $78 a pound. This is back when we lived in the motorhome. And, man, when you're getting $78 a pound, we didn't eat, eat too mm -hmm. many of them. You know, just picked them and sold them, and then, uh, but we've always loved them, you know, for eating. And now what we do is, what was it, two years ago when we sold a few, mm -hmm. we gave a few away. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what we do now is get, we're eating them, you know, eat them. We'll actually slow down a little bit on the eating them, because, I mean, we could eat our year supply in oh, yeah. <laughs> a month. Mm -hmm. But... So we'll put them up. I think we're on our second, you know, uh, Adam's peanut butter jar full of them right now. And we usually like to have about four jars, mm -hmm. you know, four jars, four Adam's peanut butter jars full dried. And that'll pretty much last us the year. We'll get pretty low. Miss Kitty gets starts getting stingy with them about, what, January or February. Yeah. But yeah. once we do that, and then the kids, you know, we make sure the kids have got the supply they don't eat them quite like we do we actually they they love them as long as miss kitty's the one that cooked them <laughs> so uh after we dry them if if the season's really good this year the prices they're not getting all that much i think they're getting about 35 dollars a pound right now um so if we end up selling any we'll wait till the market dries up some we'll actually sell them dry in the the winter time if we sell some but we'd have, like I said, we have to have quite the, quite the mother load of them. Anything else on the mushrooms? No. I'm gonna step else. over here and talk about a, uh, a thing. You know, I always talk, talking treasure hunting and all that stuff all the time. And you know, man, you get all kinds. I mean, you can see, you know, this is. I was at this pile yesterday when I was talking about uh, getting a ticket, and this is only. Man, this is just a fraction of the stuff we've been pulling out of the barns and picking up at yard sales and stuff like that. Man, we've got a, two piles over here and a pile over there and, you know, all under tarps, some in the uh, buildings and all that. But anyway, when I, I just wanted to talk. I ain't going to go over. I might show a couple of these things, but I ain't really going to go. But I mostly want to talk about finding gold in them there hills and, you know, the treasure hunting and what you end up finding. Well, when I was at, uh, um, was it, it was the, it was a sale. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. at the, yes, it, this was at a, uh, a storage unit yard sale they had when we headed down. And I talked about the one that was about 26, 27 miles down the road here. Um, the first one we stopped when we were beeline to get over there for that phone. And anyway, so I'm looking at some stuff, man. I picked up this awesome, uh, desk set with two bookends and stuff it's on ebay right now you can check out and sitting there next to it was this little bear right here 
you know, and he's got a there's got a, um, a fly fishing rod, you know, it's bent like it's hooked on his hindquarters or whatever. You see those in a lot of those canoe pictures, the um, Winnipeg canoes. They have a, a old picture where the little bear's doing this, so that's what it reminded me of. But I, so I'm picking up that other stuff, and I see him, and I pick him up, and I'm like, holy smokes, man. He's heavy, man. I thought, dude, that's a real bronze, but I didn't really think nothing of it. I actually picked him up for myself. And then, uh, so Miss Kitty is doing pictures here this morning and grabs my bear. And she's like, you gonna, we going to sell this uh, little bear? And I was like, oh, I don't know. We'll see what it's worth. Well, when I talk about Golden them their heels, he's called uh, Camp Busters. And he's signed, and he is an actual, the real McCoy bronze sculpture. By David Manuel. By David Manuel. And Miss Kitty started looking him up, and he also does these Native Americans and these Indian sculptures that I would just, oh man, I'd be beating myself against the ground because the last one sold for 3,500 bucks, and it was amazing. But uh, I'm selling my bear, man, because we're probably probably looking at 100 to 300 dollars for this little bear. So, uh, so his. His little hind quarter is going to be going on eBay, but man, I don't know how well you can see that thing, but just look at the detail. Camp Buster is what he's called. And we can't find this actual one. Man, he's cool. So anyway, so there's the gold. There's gold in them there heels. Man, that's uh, the treasure hunting. This is the ones that when she did that, me and Kitty ran through the through the woods clicking our heels, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rich, I'm rich. Then I thought I'd just show a couple other little things that I picked up that day. These posters are just pretty, uh, I had to pick these up just because they're so, man, they're quality. Vinyl. Can, yeah, quality tarp type material. I don't know if you're into that. Babylon. Yeah, Babylon stuff. Miss Kitty's, you know, what interests her. She likes that kind of crazy stuff. Mm. So oh. is Kai. Yeah, Makai's going to eat it. He likes it. Yeah, I caught him on film here. He's got, I don't know if that's something important. Hey, dude. You know. Yeah. All right, then we got another one of those. I thought those were, man, the quality of them is just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you're into that, man, what a great, you know, I'd like to have some like this quality on, with the, uh, with mushrooms on it. His yeah. pick. Pictorial illustration visions of Daniel and John and their chronology published by O. Nichols. So those, cool. will be, those will be getting put on in the next day or two. Here he Where goes again. That, Here huh? he goes again. Kai wants it. Hey. <laughs> dog. Then I got a bunch of U.S. military, different kind of bags and all this kind of stuff. Um, got two night. Well, got a couple. I actually put one on. Already sold one of the abalones. <coughs> Excuse me. Got uh, two nice little American-made vices. There's another one there. Sears. Got this old. Uh, this one actually. The other ones that I used to get were made in Boise, Idaho. But this one's not. This one's just called Pack Saw. Hmm. But man, these things. I carry one of these in my hunting pack. Man, it's they're great. Cool. It's gonna... Yeah, and then it's got this little cap you pop off, and that's a match holder in there. So that's pretty cool. That'll be on, uh, that'll be on. Uh, Miss Kitty, I think I got, I don't know if she got these for herself. Well, or I haven't those. quite decided, but. Oh, and then, then of course, uh, here's a little te little wire tester. But I uh, picked up a box of sheds. Well, actually some cutoffs, a couple of sheds, but cutoffs. I got one whitetail and some muleys, muleys in there, and. You know, I ain't gonna make this whole, uh, mostly I just wanted to show our mushrooms. I better get these dang candles, that whole box yeah. of candles. Look is at it? this, this was, I don't even know if you've seen this. I didn't. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. It's a little uh, wiggly Jesus. That's a, um, what do they call those? Not baubles. No. I thought it was one of those things and I that you put Might down have. like that and it shoots up shoots and I up. thought, well, that's no good to do to him. No. But I just thought that was kind of yeah, cool. That's kind of cool. But I better get those things yeah. in. And the yeah. lamp oil, too. All right, so, man, I'm going to get some of this. I got to get these candles out of the sun. I got to get this thing cleared off. But, man, I got just junk everywhere, man. I'm going to sand all. Man, one time we bought a, uh, 
over on the Oregon coast we're in the motorhome and I bought a uh, whole bin oh yeah whole man just a whole bin of these things and um, there was hundreds and hundreds and I bought them for five bucks man and we took these out at the um, swap meets and was selling them a dollar piece man that was a that was a gold mine yeah I better get them candles and stuff. Yeah. all right so and this bill, I guess I should see man, I'm telling you, I can just play with this stuff and show you. Man, oh, that's cool. That yeah, that's a nice, a nice, uh, nice brass. Yeah, ship man, bill or yeah, something. Just quality. Yeah. Quality. So anyway, I guess I'll just put stuff picked up. So you all uh, have a wonderful day. Oh, and I'm, I guess every time I keep trying to end this thing. But uh, I'm actually getting ready to mount a shower curtain in there because got it framed up so we can actually take showers instead of just baths in the the bathhouse over there and uh miss kitty's gonna go out oh, this one's good. And instruct me uh where she wants that lilac bush i'm gonna plant today and then i'm hoping to get a couple of the above ground beds uh snapped together today and then start hauling some dirt over here so i can get because we picked up some Tomato. Some tomato. Do we get tomatoes? Yeah, I got two tomatoes. You have a couple of tomatoes. Zucchini. Zucchini, squash. Yeah, I think we've got a green and the yellow. And then I still got to get cucumbers and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so we got a couple of those. So I need to get those. They're in the, the greenhouse part over there. And then two uh, um, lavender. Lavenders that I got a. a lavender bush. Or just a lavender they're, they're, well, they don't really. It's a plant. Yeah, but it's, it's not uh, a bush. It's annual line. Where is it? You know, um, you know it comes back over here. Uh, I it has to go to seed, and then the seeds resprout. Okay. So you ask, you put me on the spot. Uh, yeah, because you're always everybody says how you're the lavender queen. You want to any by time anybody gets cut, man, put some lavender on it. <laughs> Little oils, man, it's good stuff too. It I'll is. tell you what. It is. It. All right, it's good Lord will, and the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again real soon.